The Status tab provides system information such as model and version, current CPU capacity and temperature, battery status, input source. You can change IFB audio level here, video information, and modem card information. The Ethernet screen provides configuration and setup information. For the interface, you can select Ethernet or USB. For the IP method, select static or DHCP. This is the media access control address. Only when in static mode, you can manually enter IP address, mask, and gateway fields. Check this box to keep the desired static IP address and press apply for the changes to take effect. The Wi-Fi screen provides configuration information and access to change the Wi-Fi settings. You can also change the security type or manually type in a SSID to connect to. The Hotspot tab provides configuration and status information on clients connected via Hotspot. This box displays the list of devices connected via Hotspot. You can customize your SSID, set a new password, choose a route option, and choose 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band. Press Apply for the changes to take effect. The modem screen provides modem configuration and information. Many cellular data cards are automatically detected by the TVU1 and will self-configure. If this is the case, no further action will be required. If a data card needs to be configured, you can use this tab to configure specific data cards. The Upload screen gives you the ability to assign uploaded files to a particular receiver. For each file uploaded, choose the specific receiver to which you would like the files to be uploaded from the drop-down menu. Video files available for upload will appear in this box. Once the receiver is chosen, you can choose to make it the default receiver for all future uploads by checking this box. When done, press Apply. If you have any questions or concerns or want more information, contact TVU Customer Support.